Hello, boils and ghouls. Welcome to Watchers Podcast with your hosts, Brad and Colson. <laughs> We all go a little mad sometimes. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Why are you doing this to us? Because you were home. I met him 15 years ago. I, I was told it was nothing left. No reason. No uh, conscience, no understanding, and even the most rudimentary sense of life or death, of good or evil, right or wrong. What's your favorite scary movie? Hey everybody, welcome to the show. My name is Brad, here with Colson. Hello. And... This was supposed to be our last episode, Coulson. That's right. Um, that's not going to be the case. What? No. No. Uh, so cancel that vacation. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Uh, sorry. I'm just going to go nowhere because I can't. <laughs> but. Ha! <laughs> yeah, so just to give everybody a, l- a lowdown and get everybody up to speed and other weird sayings. Yes. <laughs> um... We've decided we're going to take a break. We're not going to end the show. Um, there's too many good horror movies coming out. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking in the fall, when it slows down, we'll probably want to get back to this yeah. every week. Um, but for the time being, you and Coley are still going to be putting out episodes of Coley Olsen every yeah, two weeks every two weeks you guys should check those out if you like domestic abuse it's hilarious it is hilarious <laughs> <laughs> uh not domestic <clears throat> abuse but what i do to her which is she's okay with right so it is funny yes so yes we're, we're okay to laugh at this <laughs> yes we have a, a yeah. few lined up we got suggestions from different people and uh you know just look for them every Wednesday, I think. Every yeah. second Wednesday, so. They're really funny. Yeah. We... Um, some of my favorite opening music. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I uh, put that together real quick, so. No, oh, it's you fun. can we'll... tell. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. We'll, we'll keep throwing them out there, and uh, yeah, so that'll be one thing, and. Yeah. Anything else? I mean. Yeah, there's some big movies coming up, mm-hmm. um, like Spiral and stuff like that, that. Yeah. Antlers, if it ever comes out. Yeah, that's right. Um, Things that we kind of want to talk about, Yeah, even if we don't have time to do it every week. Exactly. So we will be putting out episodes, just not as frequently. And yeah, what kind of spurred it all was how many good movies are coming out and all your guys' support on Instagram whenever we're like, oh, we're done. And then everyone's like, oh, no. Yeah. That sucks. Because... When you're doing the show, you don't hear feedback very often. Like, right. We weren't sure how many people were listening every week or anything. We yeah. just get a number of how many. Exactly, yeah. We don't get how many return listeners or anything like that. Mm-hmm. So, But yeah, so I'm rambling. That's okay. Yeah, I guess it is a podcast. Yes. You're supposed to talk. Exactly. Dead air is not good. <laughs> right. But, yeah. Uh, so yeah, thank you everybody. And we will have more episodes, just not every week. Yeah, it'll be, there may be a surprise one pop up here and there. Yeah, you'll just get them when you get them. Exactly. (laughs) And yeah, once your shit dies down, you're busy. (laughs) You tell me the hours, I'm like, oh my god. (laughs) I'm sitting here like in an empty house all by myself, lonely, just watching movies and but I did tell you yeah. too, my summertime, not yet, but come June, July, August, it gets uh, pretty busy. So. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, nothing nothing compared to you. So, <laughs> Yeah, this summer, it's going to be nuts. Yeah. Um, working, managing two restaurants and cooking in mm-hmm. another one. So. Yeah. But we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get through it and exactly. we'll be back full time eventually. Yep. So, with that, Colson. 
Have you watched anything this week? I did. Uh, I did <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six movies. Okay. Um, so I watched Judas and the Black Messiah. Oh yeah, I think that's what it's called. Jude, yeah, yeah, that just came out this year. Right? Yeah, it was. Uh, it's it's nominated for a bunch of Oscars. Mm-hmm. I didn't care for it. Oh. I thought that it was not very well done. Oh, <laughs> um, I I kind of went into it thinking it was going to be more like a Black Klansman mm-hmm. kind of thing, and the story's kind of similar. It's an undercover FBI thing. Oh, okay, um, just. Didn't hit with me. And is it the KKK? Uh, no, it's Black Black Panthers. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, it's kind of the opposite of Black Klansmen. Like, oh, I uh, see. It's Black Klan. Yeah, it's it definitely had that feel mm-hmm. of like that's why like from the trailer that I watched, I was like, okay, this kind of feels like that, you know. Yeah. And it just it wasn't. It's because it didn't have Topher Grace in it. Could be. Could be. That's probably the problem. Yeah, I watched another movie, oddly enough, with him. Oh, this, this didn't have him, but now that you mention him, I'll get to it in a minute. <laughs> okay. Uh, I watched Inside Man. Have you seen that? No. That's a Spike Lee movie. Um, uh-huh. Kind of different from anything he's really ever done. This is about a bank robbery. Um, oh. It's got Denzel Washington, Jodie Foster, and Clive Owen. Good cast. Yeah, good cast, and... Really, I you wouldn't even know it's a Spike Lee movie unless you... I, I mean, I'm sure diehards pick yeah. up on his shit that he does. Does he have the dolly shot? He, he does. <laughs> he does. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's a good movie, though. I, I would check that one out if you haven't uh, yeah. seen it. Um, I watched Cloverfield. Okay. Um, Rewatch for you? No, first time. Oh. I've seen the other one, uh, 10... Cloverfield. But 10. I didn't even know that was a Cloverfield yeah. connection until the end. Yeah. I'm an idiot. <laughs> a lot of people didn't. Yeah, I, I think they kind of kept that fair. Other than the, the Cloverfield thing, yeah, it was more like a an apocalypse type movie. Like, yeah, they never mention mm-hmm. the aliens or whatever until yeah. the end, and then it. I guess I just ruined that for anyone. Yeah, but spo- spoilers if you <laughs> late spoiler been a listener. Yeah, just uh, rewind the show, <laughs> exactly. skip ahead thirty seconds, and then you'll be fine. You'll be good. Uh, yeah. I, I had heard a lot about how, I think we even talked about it at one point, how it was so um, jerky. Yeah. They definitely, like I said to my wife, they don't have to have it as jerky as this. Like, you don't have to, when somebody's running, you don't have to have their arm no. doing the run motion. Like, no. they they could run kind of holding it somewhat steady. But this movie kind of th- was like, oh, we're going to run with it. Yeah. <laughs> like. There's one part particularly where they're in like an apartment building or something mm-hmm. on the roof and it's like caving in. Yes. That's when I started feeling sick in the theater. Okay. I was like, oh, this is too much. Yeah. Because you can't even tell what's going on. No. It's just like swinging around in circles almost. Exactly. And with me, like, I only had to, I had to look away like three times, I think, and just kind of stare at the wall <laughs> for like 20 seconds. And that was it. Yeah. So... But yeah, they definitely could have done less shaky if they wanted, but it mm-hmm. seems like they didn't want to. They wanted to make it almost more realistic, like this yeah. is how somebody would actually... Cause there were times when it seemed like the camera was just on his neck as he was running, like it's just shaking yeah. around. That but, movie uh, had my favorite teaser trailer of all time. Okay. They're all like... It just shows them walking around the party at the, like at the start of the movie. Yeah. And then... They're out on like a balcony or something, and you see the Statue of Liberty's head come flying right, down the street. I remember that, yeah, yeah. And then everyone's like, "What was that?" And that's all there was to the trailer. I was so excited for yeah, that movie, and I did cool like one. it. Yeah, it's uh, a good movie. Yeah, yeah. What do you think of like Clover himself, like the monster? Do you um, like the design? Or? I did. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. Yeah, it was just right in the middle for me. I liked how a little slight spoiler here. There were things that dropped off of it, like parasites. Yeah, or and they would run and bite and do things so that was kind of cool to kind of uh because i said to my wife like why wouldn't you just kind of stay there or go into the sewers or something mm. well that's why because this thing kind of rains these little shits off of it yeah uh you're you're fucked if you're up high down low anywhere so yeah it's kind of cool yeah I, 
I think they were scarier than the monster itself. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, could be. <laughs> um, and the last three that I watched, did I say five? I'm, if I did, I watched. I think you said six. Six, okay. Uh, Spider Man 1 to 3. I was wondering if that's what it was going to be yes. when you said you <laughs> saw a Topher Grace movie. That's the one. So I had seen Spider Man 1, mm-hmm. but I'd never seen two or three. Okay. Uh, I like two as much as one, and yep. three just a little bit worse. Yeah. Uh, I didn't hate it, didn't not like it. I need to rewatch three. Okay. When I did watch it, I felt like they were trying to do too much. Mm-hmm. Like you got like three or four bad guys in it. Yeah, there's the Sandman. Sandman, Venom. Venom. Green uh, Goblin. Yeah. Is, or is he I, good in that? Well, he's a little of both. Yeah, right. <laughs> a little of both. Right. But yes, I do hear what you're saying because there is times when it's like like there's a lot going on yeah like with multiple things like eh. yeah and just let venom be venom don't yeah. oh that's the one thing that bugged me now that i'm thinking about it okay they had to have topher grace's face every time yeah they They'd never do. just let him be venom really. no it was uh it, it, the, the the shit peeled away almost every single time that he talked yeah um the movie made me want to watch Venom, mm-hmm. the new uh, Tom Hardy movie. Yeah. Or not new now, but newer. Yeah. I uh, haven't seen it, so I'll probably look at getting that and uh, check it out. But Yeah. Yeah, Spider-Man, they're good. I, I definitely like the Tom Holland Spider-Man. Those me two too. are much better, in my opinion. I agree. They're more fun. They're just... It's it's a better movie. It is, but uh, I mean, you get technology. You know, two thousand two to two thousand and what sixteen or whenever it was. Yeah, big difference in technology. So I remember when these movies came out, like the first one. Mm-hmm. I was so excited. Right, like I bought tickets. <laughs> I think it was like two weeks in advance oh, or really? something. I could not wait for yeah. Spider Man. It's a, a huge one. Yeah. Um, there was an original trailer. For Spider-Man, like a teaser that got taken down. Yeah. Because there was, like, guys escaping in a helicopter. Okay. And then they're, like, flying along, and it had the Twin Towers with right. a giant spider web in between it, and it catches it like a fly. Right. <laughs> which is awesome. I think but... that you had talked about that not that long ago, because I remember you saying that. And, uh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's what I watched. Okay, one last question. Sure. Which of the three was your favorite? If you had to pick, uh, probably part one, okay. but not by very much. Yeah. If if I were to give it an eight, I'd give part two a seven point eight. Yeah. Like it's right there. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. I think that's one of the best like movie sequels mm-hmm. ever. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Um, and I, like I had seen certain things of Doc Ock. Mm-hmm. stuff and uh the subway stuff there's a cool action scene but yeah i didn't know anything else about it yeah i so. think doc ock is actually going to be in the new spider-man movie okay the, the same guy oh that's cool yeah yeah hopefully they're doing like some sort of multiverse thing that'd, that'd be nice yeah that'd be great <laughs> yeah. and i will say that part <clears throat> three gets hurt the most because of toby mcguire doing that venom oh, strut thing that he does down the, dance it's so cringy yeah like oh i was i've i've seen that obviously from like mm-hmm. a lot of different things. watch mojo yeah, lists exactly. probably but uh yeah that hurt the movie for sure for yeah. me they make fun of that in uh into the spider verse okay the animated one yeah he's like oh and then there's this and it like shows a clip but it's uh, like the cartoon of him going down the street doing uh, it and he's just like jeez <laughs> yeah so yeah, that's what I watched. Oh, I watched one movie. Okay, <laughs> uh, Bad Trip on Netflix. Oh, how was that? It was funny. Okay, um, it's Eric Andre kind of doing like the bad grandpa thing, or, right? Where he is doing pranks, and there's a storyline, but no one else is an actor. Like okay. it's just him, one other guy, and Tiffany Haddish are the actors. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. Uh, by the end, you're like, okay, like, that's, that's enough. Yeah. Like, I'm good. <laughs> Do you like Eric Andre? No. Uh, okay. I don't either, and that's why I was yeah. thinking, did you 
did you do you like him? Is that why no. you were okay with the movie? Or uh, no, I don't. Okay. And he's much better in this than any Eric Andre stuff I've okay. seen. Uh, yeah, some of the pranks are really funny, but I mean, if I was sixteen, this would have been the best movie right. of the year. Yes. Now it's like, eh, Jackass has done it. You're right. <laughs> no, I hear you. Yeah. Okay. So. Moving into our review for this week. Mm -hmm. Continuing the Stephen King train. Mm -hmm. That's right. Gotta keep that King... Uh, I was trying to say King Emotion, like I, Locomotion right. with Stephen King in it, but it didn't work. It did not work. Uh, gotta keep the King train rolling. We got Carrie, directed by Brian De Palma. It was a 7.4 on IMDb. Mm -hmm. Came out in 1976. Yeah. Well before either of our time. That's right. <laughs> Um, you've seen this one before? Uh, once, maybe twice. Okay. You? Once, a very long time ago. Mm hmm Um, and I only really remembered, like, the opening scene and the uh, last scene. Okay. All that middle gets filled in. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay. So, uh, I'll give a, I guess we'll talk Sissy Spacek plays Carrie Piper Laurie, who was actually in The Faculty, mm -hmm. which I didn't even know that was her. No. Um, but yeah, she plays Carrie's mom and John Travolta. Mm. Uh, it's funny because he's not a very big part. Nope. But if you look at the cover <clears throat> of the movie, his name is right there because yeah. he's a big star now or was when they released on DVD or Blu-ray. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. So, Carrie White, a shy, friendless teenager... Uh, or a teenage girl who is sheltered by her domineering religious mother unleashes her telekinetic powers after being humiliated by her classmates at her senior prom. Those are a lot of big words there. You did that, awesome. Thank you. I, I, I don't read too good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, movie's an hour and a half, hour 38. Yep. Um, <clears throat> I'll get to the time in a little bit here, but uh, anyway. Yeah. First thoughts of it? Did you... Uh, it's one of those ones where I don't really need to see it again. Okay. It was fine. Um, as I was watching it, I was thinking, this is one that got remade and people were probably angry about. Right. But I'm okay with it being remade. Because mm -hmm. it's not as... Good. Okay. I thought it was okay. Gonna be. <laughs> um, yeah. I have you seen the remake? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I have too. I've probably seen the remake. I've definitely seen it way before, or you know, more, more recent. recent. Yeah. Um, but I think I might like the remake more. I think I do too. I, I'd have to watch it again, but uh, just going by memory, I'm thinking I might like it more, or right on par with it. Yeah. Uh, there are a few things in there that I would change for sure, but yeah, not bad. Yeah, not so, at all. Um, yeah. I like um, in this movie when the kid's yelling, Creepy Carrie, yeah. on the bike, and she like used her telekinetic powers That's to throw right. him off the bike. <laughs> it's hilarious. That is funny. And I do like, because they, they kind of show uh, her her powers like, one thing at a time. Like, the light bulb will break. Yeah, and then, kind of growing. Yeah, the ashtray goes flying across the room, yeah. and then that little douchebag gets thrown off his bike, and yeah. uh, just kind of builds up. The window she, slams. Yeah, shy. she doesn't even really know what it is at this point, because she goes, eventually goes to the library and looks it up and does some research on it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I think they did that good, like, the slow build mm -hmm. into it. Yeah, I guess. Final. <laughs> um, now the opening scene with all the the slow motion girls locker room. Uh, I'm not going to complain, but uh... <laughs> whenever that started, Nikki was like, "Did Colson pick this movie?" <laughs> I got that reputation. Yep. Oh, uh, by the way, future episode for Coley Olson talk will be a top 10, our top, mine and Coley's top 10 favorite nudity scenes. Because <laughs> we literally are like fucking 11-year-old boys. 
when tits show up on the screen, we high five. I funny. make her do it, but I'm like, yes. <laughs> And we high five each other. So take a look for those, that episode whenever it comes out. But um, oh man, the the plug it up scene when yeah. she, basically she gets her period for the first time. She's in a senior, so she's seventeen or eighteen, and uh, she has no idea what's happening. Right? Yeah, I had a similar traumatic oh, experience. I'm sure in high school. Okay, uh, it wasn't a period. To, right, uh, just blood. Oh, yeah. that's. Awesome. They still yelled, plug it plug up. Plug it up. <laughs> threw toilet paper at me. It's a, a really funny scene to watch, but when you, if you were to think that that was a real thing, like, for, like, if you saw that on the news, that would be horrible. Yeah. It's awful. <clears throat> yeah, the gym teacher's my favorite. Oh, I know. She's she, just like, you guys fucking suck. I know, she rules. Yeah. Um, there's some recognizable actresses in that scene of pl- the opening plug it up thing. We get PJ Souls, who yep. is totally from halloween yep and also i don't know if you noticed but Ed, or Edie mcclurg i think her name is she mm-hmm. plays uh the prince or the principal secretary in ferris bueller's day off oh and, yes yeah she's she's got all the pencils in her hair right um yeah she's in this movie very much younger yeah not very much a few years younger yeah so pj souls she's wearing a hat through this whole movie I for some fucking reason hate it's my next note i i hate her her she has the worst haircut i've ever seen her bangs are three inches too short (laughs) she looks like lloyd christmas from dumb and dumber (laughs) and that fucking hat that she wears right up even in prom yes she has a hat on in prom i hate her she's (laughs) an awful character and she's hateable i picture myself or i picture thinking like she's going all right this is me. Yeah. I'm the hat girl. Like, exactly. That's going to be my thing in high school. Ugh. I'm going to wear a hat every day. Fuck, the dumb hat. Yeah. Ugh. Terrible. Yeah, it's awful. Um, yeah, so if any of you are wearing a hat every day yeah. in high school to be the hat girl, yeah. sorry. but Ch- Change the hat up. Yeah. And also, don't have bangs that are literally an inch long. Yeah. And not always baseball caps. Like, yeah. wear a fedora one day, exactly. like a sombrero the next. Yeah, the, the what are those 10-gallon drum hats, those fucking yeah. huge ones? The cowboy hat. Yeah, those would rule. Have an arrow sticking through it, though, yeah. like, make it funny. Yeah, exactly. And probably wear a fake mustache if you're wearing that. Yeah, that's right. Like, really go with it. Yep. Um, also, <clears throat> the uh, Carrie's mother. Mm-hmm. Was conditioner a thing back in 1976? <laughs> Her hair is so dry and yeah. puffy. Like, <laughs> I know. get some conditioner, flatten it down a little bit. The ending scene, uh, jumping ahead here with all the candles lit in the house. Mm-hmm. Brave lady. Yeah. That hair could have gone up <laughs> real quick. Would have had crazy. a Michael Jackson incident. Exactly. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, Michael Jackson, Pepsi commercial. It's... Google it. Google it. YouTube. YouTube. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And if you guys are listening to this on YouTube, uh, give us a thumbs up and maybe mm-hmm. comment below. Exactly. <laughs> Cheap plug. <laughs> uh, I kind of suffer from the same thing you do with The Shining, where this movie's hilarious. Right. <laughs> it's not scary at no, all. No, it's not a scary movie at all. No. No. I th- I, I, I'd like to see it. I don't even know if they're... Yeah. Any jump scares or anything like it wasn't a big thing back then, yeah. but yeah, <clears throat> didn't do anything. No, for me, her mother's hilarious. Oh fuck yeah, she's remember great. she's yelling about dirty pillows. Yeah, like, don't say your <laughs> dirty <laughs> pillows. I was like, okay, uh, it's like, yeah. Um, you mentioned the gym teacher. Yeah, she is great because the girls who tortured her, she gets detention with they're in detention for one week. And if they don't do what she tells them, you're not going to prom. Yeah. Which is, like, super cool. Yeah. Might as well shoot them in the head and yeah. not let them go to prom. And the one, girl. the one girl who stood up to her and was like, well, if we stick together, she can't do this shit and all this stuff. And then she just smacked the shit out of her. Like, yeah. <laughs> that would, you know, I have kids and stuff, but I'm like, yeah, boy, I 
kind of wish teachers could do that sort of thing. Yeah, if my kid was talking to them like that, yeah. it was after doing what they did. Exactly. I'd be like, well, I guess you kind of had it coming. Yeah, like, I don't know about the slapping, but everything yeah. else, like that that whole boot camp type shit she had them doing, yeah. fuck yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Um, we just lost half of our... Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Sensitive on it. Uh, um, yeah, the girl that stood up to her, her name's Chris. Yeah, Chris. She's the worst person ever. Worst. Horrible. She might be, she'd be in the top ten of worst characters of all time. Yeah. For sure. Uh, she's awful. Yeah. When she's talking to John Travolta in the car, mm-hmm. he's like groping her. <laughs> You'd swear he was like a, that she was a uh, boy masseuse or something. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he was going after her. Well, I wrote down... It's like, this kind of rapey. <laughs> uh, the, the great relationship they have, she calls him dumb, or like a dummy or something, and he smacks the shit out of her, and then she fucking blows him. <laughs> like, hey, you guys are a uh, match made in heaven yeah. right there, you know? <laughs> Smack her, she calls you stupid, beat her up. Yep. Then you get taken care of? Yeah. Bizarre. Well, his accent, Travolta was not uh, good in this. No. I don't know if he was trying to lose that, like, sat, like I guess this was before Saturday Night Fever. But yeah. he had that accent. Maybe that's his normal way of talk. Yeah. I don't know, but he sounded weird. It was very strange. Yeah. Um, and also, did you notice at one point the teacher's like, if you don't have a date, you can't go to prom. Yeah, that was weird. That was very weird. That wasn't a rule in our school. No, mine either. <clears throat> very strange. Because, yeah. like, what if you don't want to go with... So- like, what are you forcing yeah. people to have to have a date? Yeah. Weird. Very strange. Um, yeah. Uh, on the prom topic, mm-hmm. the scene where the guys are trying on tuxes... Yeah. ...is so weird and out of place and just doesn't need to be in the movie. I agree. And then, like... In the middle of it, they just speed up the dialogue. I know. Like, they sound like chipmunks. Yeah. If you're going to keep that scene in there, keep the scene, but don't do even more weird shit yeah. with having it sped up. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> it was then, weird. I, I was like, what the fuck was that? Yeah, and they only do it for like two seconds. Yeah. And then it's back to normal. Super weird. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like, I don't get it. I want the Brad and Coulson cut of this movie yeah. and chop that shit out of there. Exactly. It's so dumb. Yeah. It was very... I was... I was. I don't remember it, but watching it this time, I was just like, what was yeah. that? Like, oof. Weird. Now, if I'm going to keep complaining about the prom... Yeah. When Tommy and Carrie are dancing, mm-hmm. and the camera's spinning... Yeah. Like, they're on a fucking merry-go-round or something. I know. So fast. I had a note earlier in the movie. I was... I will talk about it now. I like the way that it was being shot. Mm-hmm. Like, they, they did cool undershots of, like, Carrie's mother reading from the Bible thing. It's yep. backlit. Like, the she looks like a, a creepy... It's almost like in Misery. Exactly. When Kathy Bates is... When he's looking up at her yeah. in the bed. Yeah. And we're getting cool shots like that. And they're just moving the camera around the house very cool. It's yeah. flowing very well. And then I literally wrote down, like, the, the spinning scene. Like you mentioned it. I don't... I don't like it. No. It made me fucking dizzy. Yeah. Because the lights are going. They're spinning one way. The camera's spinning the other. Yeah. And it was just like... And it went on for a long time. Long time. <laughs> Very long. Um, something I did like... Okay. After bashing that much of it, is the the scene where she gets the blood dumped on her. Okay. And she, like, loses her shit. Yeah. The look on her face... It's actually are... scary. Oh, fuck yeah. She looks like a bloody Rango. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, her eyes are enormous. She's not blinking. Yeah. Um, and I will say that that was one problem that I had with the new Carrie is this one, they made her look pretty shitty before the prom. Yes. She, they cleaned her up decently and she looks good at the prom. Where, I think, is her name Chloe Grace Moretz? Is that yes. her name? She's good looking beforehand. Like, they didn't, it, it, you know, it didn't, the transition wasn't really there. It no. was like a decent looking person now with makeup on. Where Sissy Spacek, Spacek has like a, I don't want to say she's weird looking, but. Yeah, she's 
plain. Very I guess. yeah. Is, no, like, like her hair straight, exactly. hanging in her face, like no makeup. Yeah, which is fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's and I will say that she looks. I don't know about now, but like ten years ago, she looked the exact same. Yeah, she was one of those ones who just didn't age. She may actually be a vampire. Yeah, <laughs> could be. Um, yeah, and the other thing about the prom that I didn't like is. How her date is treating her like their boyfriend girlfriend now, but he has a girlfriend. Yeah, he has a girlfriend, <clears throat> and like he kisses her, mm-hmm. and I'm like, why, why, why isn't he like being a friend? Why yeah. does this have to be like a boyfriend girlfriend thing? Yeah, maybe he actually ends up falling in love. Maybe with her. I don't know. Could be because we will say <clears throat> early in the movie. The teacher's reading some sort of poetry thing or something, and she's mm-hmm. like, it's beautiful, and it was his poem or whatever, and yeah. the teacher's like, oh, Carrie Whiteley, and the kid's like, shut up, to yeah. the teacher, and uh, so maybe he was always like, uh, you know, sympathetic towards her or whatever, yeah. had the soft spot for her, and then when she cleaned up, he gradually fell in love. Yeah. Maybe. Good, uh, good message. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. And I'll also mention, they get to the prom, this movie's an hour and 38 minutes, and it's mm-hmm. one of those movies that's an hour and 38, with hour 37. This yeah. isn't 10 minutes for credits. This movie's like an hour and 45 minutes, <laughs> if we're being honest. It feels the, every minute. Uh, well, they get to the prom at an hour into the movie. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, this is gonna be like, I, I knew it was an hour 38, so I'm like, we gotta be like an hour 20 in. Yeah. Nope. Hour one hour in and I was like, oh boy, this is going to take a while. And there is one scene where they announce him as prom king and queen. Mm -hmm. It's slow motion. Yep. And I I actually like that it was slow motion because the tension is building. Mm -hmm. Are they going to see the the people hiding under the stage with the rope? You know, there's a bunch of people who are coming in and going out and stuff like the girl's whose boyfriend is out with Carrie, she comes in and finds them under the stairs. And the gym teacher sees her and thinks she's trying to sabotage things. And it's all in slow motion. Yeah. But it works. Yeah. But my problem is, is if they had cut out, like, the tuxedo thing, you know, say, trim two, three minutes here and there, and then the slow motion, the movie wouldn't be an hour, it'd be an hour and 30. And we'd be at an hour and 15 at that point. Yes. Um, and there's a part in it, in that slow motion scene, mm-hmm. where they keep cutting back and forth, back and forth, back right. and forth, to the people under the stairs, to the yeah. crowd, to the people under <laughs> the stairs, do. to the crowd. You could probably cut one or two of those out, I know. and it'd have the exact same effect. Yeah, exactly. They they definitely could have trimmed that that whole, like, say if it's five minutes, they could have cut it down to three, mm-hmm. and not lost anything. Um, yeah. But like I say, I did like it, but it just, it took a little bit too long. But, I love uh, that uh, Tommy eats it because he gets oh, hit in the head with a bucket. Boy, does he ever. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> they pour that rope, that pig, pig's blood. Because, yeah, they killed a pig. Yeah. Stupid John Travolta just bashes it with a hammer. <laughs> uh, it was sad. Yeah. Um, you don't really see anything where I think in the new one, spoiler alert, they show it a bit more graphically. Mm. I think they, like, slit its throat or something and blood, like, sprays all over them. Yeah. It's kind um, of sad because I'm torn because yeah. pigs are cute. They are. But they are also delicious. <laughs> that they are. So I don't know where I stand on yeah. it. I guess I don't want their heads being bashed in with hammers. Yes, exactly. But... Um, but yeah, that whole slow motion scene and then, like you said, the <laughs> the bucket hits him on the So does that kill him? I wrote that down. Like, did I, he die there? I'm not sure if he, that killed him or just like... The fire and yeah. everything killed him. Maybe okay. he was just knocked out. But because the gym teacher does go up on stage, or one of them is like holding his head, looking, and then they kind of look up, like, "Oh my god!" Like maybe he's dead. Yeah, he doesn't potentially could have killed them. Although I don't know if they're professional enough to make that decision that this guy's dead. No, <laughs> so. uh, they're not even professional <laughs> enough to run up on stage as soon as it happens. That's they're true. all standing there laughing yeah. at them, and then it's like, "Oh, this guy might be dead." <laughs> um. Yeah, and then, so yeah, once once she starts the fire, or starts, I guess it's the water hose first, and she's spraying all of mm. them and shit. Um, I do like the fact that, no, like, even the gym teacher, who was really nice to her, 
the whole movie and like stood up for her and fucked with the the shitty kids that fucked with her. Mm-hmm. She gets killed. Yeah. Um. I just I don't remember the new one, but I have a feeling like maybe somebody may have got out or yeah. didn't die. Yeah, I don't remember either. That's the way that you think that oh this person was so nice they need to live no they don't yeah that was awesome and even though she's the good one Mm -hmm. she's still like not believing them that someone actually wants to take her to prom yeah i know she's looking out for carrie but at the same time it's like eh, well maybe someone actually does like yeah it's kind of (laughs) mean to assume that they're just doing it to be mean to her yeah (laughs) that's right i don't know I agree with you, and I will say, but the only thing I will say is that when she finds out who wants to take her to prom, she's Mm -hmm. like, I think his name was... Tommy. Tommy, yeah. She's like, Tommy, whatever is going to take me. And she's like, that's great. You know, she doesn't even phase it in front of Carrie. Yeah. So she is good right up to her. Yeah. But then she takes them aside and is like, what the fuck are you two planning? (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Um, But yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I do like how... She fucking locks those doors up. The the people who poured the blood on them, Chris and Bobby or whatever, mm. Billy, they got out. Yeah. But that, we, we find out why. Yeah. But everybody else is just, the doors get latched shut and fire breaks out and mm-hmm. they all die. Yeah. It's great. And <laughs> Chris got out, or not, yeah, no, uh, what's her name? Sue. Mm. She got pushed out by the teacher because the teacher thought that she was sabotaging yeah so she lived she was pounding on the doors to get back in it's like you don't know what's about to come stupid yeah get out of there yeah she has a good scene at the end Mm -hmm. where she's sleeping yeah and then she's having the nightmare of (laughs) carrie's hand bursting up out of the ground that's right like the undertaker (laughs) (laughs) exactly um yeah so i mean overall like the i like the whole ending like yeah. the fi- like you said the eye the the look of it and everything like that um i even like the ending cuz the two people that get out and then they they try to run her down mm-hmm. <laughs> she's walking home and they just gun the car at her and she turns last second and they end up rolling yeah it looks hilarious cuz the way they shoot it yeah but i like it yeah they explode they die mm-hmm. uh the two worst people in the movie get a decent death yeah car crash and explosion so can't yeah. complain there uh, but overall, I do like the movie. I don't yeah. love it. I don't, you know, it's it's just, it's a like. Yeah. I think the best part of the movie is the end when Carrie makes it home. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, and that's right. She's like hunting down her mother in the house. Yeah. The music is freaky. In my mind, I'm thinking the movie ended when she got out. But no, there was no. still like 15 minutes when she got home. Exactly. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't stop there. Um, I will say... Did you, you know when Carrie, she gets home, all the candles are lit. She yeah. goes upstairs to her room. Did you see the mother behind the door? Yes. Okay, I didn't. <laughs> so the the scene is she walks up, there's a there's a mannequin body, because mm-hmm. they sew dresses and shit. And the, I, 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 Carrie goes to the bathroom, the camera pans in, and the mother's standing behind the door. Mm-hmm. I got goosebumps. I was like, holy shit, that's creepy. And then I was like, how did I not see that? I hit rewind. She was there. Yeah, she was there the day. whole time. I have no idea how I didn't fucking see it. <laughs> I saw the mannequin because my brain triggered, oh, that's the mannequin. Yeah. But I didn't see her mother directly <laughs> behind it. Like, I'm yeah. an idiot. Well, yeah. <laughs> I guess. It's, it's for sure. Uh, yeah, and she takes a bath, which, wish she had a shower. Yeah. I guess she didn't have one because sitting in that bloody water is fucking gross. Ugh, that would stink. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, she's like hunting her mother down. Yeah, and like mind throwing knives yeah, at her with her brain, is. and then she gets all fancy with the last one and spins it, <laughs> hits her with it. I think one of the the blades was like one of those like cake smoother things. Yeah. It was like a spatula yeah. or whatever the fuck. Yeah, they're not all knives. Yeah. It's just whatever household utensils they're going into her. <laughs> exactly. Got a corkscrew. Yeah. <laughs> Spatulas. Yep. Fucker, she was mean. Nutcracker. Uh yeah. They're all gonna laugh at you. That's something I didn't write I didn't oh, say. Yeah. 
um, yeah, before she goes. It's such a famous... They're all going to laugh at you. Yeah, I can't believe they quote Adam Sandler in this. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We skipped right over that one. I don't know where it went, but... Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, a weird piece of trivia. Okay. The gym teacher's only two years older than Sissy Spacek. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she was old, right? She wasn't... Yeah. She was in her 20s? She was 28. Holy shit. And the gym 30. teacher was 30. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that was a thing with these movies. They always cast, like, people in their mid-20s. Yeah, I guess because they're naked. Yeah. In every movie, they can't have children. Exactly. <laughs> which is good. Yeah. Yeah, that's... uh. Yeah, that's funny. I didn't. I they. I get. She kind of looks older. Like uh, Carrie looks teenagerish. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I wouldn't wouldn't have guessed she's only two years older. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Um. One other thing that bugged me is at the end because Sue is having those nightmares all the time. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Her mother takes a phone call and she's like, "The doctor said she's young enough. She'll forget it all." Yeah. She's not that young. No. I remember stupid shit from high school yeah. that's not traumatic. I know. I remember that. Like, I'm thinking maybe if she was, like, under 10. Yeah. But 18, forgetting that. Not happening. Not without hip or psychotherapy and yeah. prescription pills and everything else. Because yeah, that's like very frontal traumatic. Frontal lobotomy. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, the graduating class went from... Fucking 100 down to 1 in one night. (laughs) Fucking crazy. Do you remember when those 99 people were murdered (laughs) that night by a girl with telekinetic powers? Nah. Not ringing any bells. No. Uh, Yeah, so that's all I have. Um, You got anything else to mention? No. That's it. I don't even know what the body count is. There's a shitload. Yeah, a bunch. A bunch. Um, Do you have a favorite kill? There's, And that's the other thing. There's not really... I think the first kill happens in the the prom. Yeah, unless you count the pig. The pig. Oh, that poor pig. Poor pig. Uh, favorite kill is probably the mother. Okay. I like the... Crucified. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I like the car crash explosion. Car crash is good. Uh, worst kill. I put Bucket hitting the head because I didn't even know if he died or not. <laughs> yeah, that's a but dumb one. It was just kind of silly. Yeah. Um, yeah. You? Um, same. Okay. Have you seen... Uh, the rage, like Carrie Two, the rage. No, okay. Is it worth watching? Um, I watched it when I was like, well, when it would have came out on DVD or whatever. I was probably like fifteen ish. Okay. And at the time, I liked it. Okay. Um, (laughs) I'm sure if I watched it now, I probably wouldn't. But there is one kill that sticks out in my head that I don't want to spoil in case you do watch it. Okay. I'll That's write it down funny. on my list and uh, I'll yeah. try to get to it. There's one part where she's like throwing CDs at people with oh, her brain, really? like slicing them up. It's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. Okay. Um, Anything make you jump? No. No, me either. I did write down the mother behind it, but on second watch, like the after I rewind, like I have no idea how I missed that. Yeah. But it gave me goosebumps the first time. <laughs> so that's something. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, spooky, scary, terrifying. Spooky, below spooky. Yeah. yeah. I'll keep it just at spooky because of Carrie's freaky face. Yeah, that's true. Her eyes at the end are just yeah. fucking... Bugged out of her head. Yeah, the blood. Yeah. Uh, yeah, on to ratings? Um, yeah, I will say that if they were ever to... Or if they remade this like 10 years ago, mm-hmm. um, Elizabeth Olsen would have been perfect to oh, play. Oh, yeah, yeah. That'd be great. Carrie. Especially after seeing her in WandaVision, uh, seeing her crazy in that. She's got huge eyes, too. Yeah. The Olsen eyes. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that would work. I guess you could use either of the other skeleton twins No, they're not now. good actresses, though. <laughs> no, they're not. They, they, yeah, they're just... They're they're those type of actresses, you know? Yeah. Where Olsen seems... The other one... Fantastic. Seems good. So... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she was like, I'm just going to do what... Mary Kate Nash I'm not going to do what Mary yeah, Kate Nash exactly. do do the opposite yeah that's the uh, word yeah <laughs> um your rating for Carrie my rating I'll do a 7 7? yeah okay uh 
I'll say six. Okay. I know I bashed it a lot, but it's not a bad movie. No, there's things to pick apart on it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Um, I'd like to read the book. Yeah. I think the book follows more of like a... I might be full of shit here. (laughs) But more of like a a court investigation. Like a... Oh, okay. Broken down that way. Like police reports and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because I think they do that a little bit... In the remake. Okay. They? Maybe? I, I can't remember. Yeah. I gotta watch that one again. I don't think they do. I'm thinking... Oh, well, maybe. They might do a few scenes like that. I can't remember. Yeah, I can't either. Fuck. Um, That's what getting old gets you. Yeah. I have a couple of things now. Uh, one piece of... One extra piece of trivia for this. It was nominated for two Oscars, actress and supporting actress. And it didn't win either. Um... But now I have something else. Are, are we we're done with Carrie? Yeah. Okay. And you also mentioned you wanted to read the book. Mm. I want to read Misery. Yeah. I've been looking up. I've randomly been hearing. I listened to radio from like 15 years ago. Mm-hmm. Don't ask why. Uh, You're I a time do. traveler. I, yeah, it's weird. But they were talking about Misery, oddly enough, on this, this one day that they were talking. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh shit. And he's saying, you know, in the book, she cuts his foot off and... She cuts his thumb off and puts it in a birthday cake and a bunch of weird shit. And I was like, oh, man, that makes me want to read it. Yeah. I I don't even read. But there's audiobooks. You can probably get the audiobook of Misery. I can listen to it while I work. Get it done in a night. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Now, I have another piece of horror trivia. This has nothing to do with Carrie. Okay. I'm springing this on you. You have no idea what I'm going to ask you. That's right. Do you know the Academy Awards, oddly enough, are tonight, if you're listening to this. Yeah, on the day today. it's released. <laughs> exactly. Um, do you know how many horror movies have had their score nominated? Let me think. I, it's, it, <laughs> Let me think. Go ahead. Let me guess. Okay. Is it None. It's not none. Okay. Is it one? Is it Jaws? Jaws, I didn't count, but it did get nominated okay. and did win. Okay. Jaws. Get Out? No. Not nominated. Us? Nope. Wow. Um, Here's the crazy thing. There hasn't been a score nominated since the 90s for a horror movie. What was that, Scream? Nope. It was Interview with a Vampire. Oh, okay. Yeah. And the earlier... I only went back to the 60s because I don't even know if they did score Oscars back before then. But The Omen was nominated. Oh. And won. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's the only one that has won. Uh, Another... Other than Jaws. Yeah. Jaws. But again, Jaws is thriller. It's a horror movie. Speak for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm at the beach and someone started blaring that music. <laughs> Another one that they had on here was The Shape of Water, which is not a horror movie. No. If you count that as a horror movie, you're a crazy person. Yeah. That's... yeah, that's Sci-fi drama. drama. Sci-fi drama. <laughs> um, Romantic comedy. But yeah, do you want to know the, the five fucking movies have been nominated? Other than... We'll count Jaws. Six. Yeah. The Omen... The Amityville Horror. Okay. Altered States. I don't even know what that is. It's a science fiction movie. Science fiction, movie. Yeah. Uh, Poltergeist, An Interview with a Vampire. Wow. Yeah. Nothing since, nothing. And I was. Uh, what made me think of this is horror scores are so memorable. Yeah. Think of Halloween, right? Everybody knows that. Yeah. The Nobody Exorcist. talks about it. The Exorcist. There's, there's tons. Gremlins. <laughs> but they, you... just, they get no love. Weird. And I was I had to look it up, and that's that's it. Hmm. Crazy, eh? That is that's something that'll slightly annoy me for the I know. rest of the day. I know, and I'm hoping maybe in the future, like I mean, Interview with a Vampire was 1994, hmm. maybe, and that's the last one, hmm. unless you count that fucking Shape of Water. Yeah, but I don't. That that's a long time. Yeah, I mean, huh? It's crazy. Yeah, considering. There's what, like five or six movies get mm-hmm. nominated each time? Yep. You'd think there would be more slip in there. For yeah, sure. at least throw one in. Hmm. There's been some memorable ones. Absolutely. 
Anyway, fun piece of yeah. trivia for you. Yeah. Anyway. So, I guess that's it for this episode. Yeah. Um, we need the Hulk music to play now as we say goodbye, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> goodbye right. for a little while. <laughs> or uh, Littlest Hobo. Yes. Well, that's Canadian. If you guys don't know what look it, it is, look up that song. Fucking rules. It's a, a banger, as the kids call oh, yeah. it. It slaps, <laughs> which is the dumbest thing. Stop saying that if you say it. Um, yeah, so that'll do it for this episode. Like we said, we will be popping up here and there like pimples on prom night. That's right. And uh, we'll, you'll get them when you get them. Yeah. Thanks for listening, everybody. Bye.